I'm Simon Humphreys and I'm Development Director at Urban Splash. Uh, the relevance, my, the kind of part of my role that's relevant to this project is I also lead up product development for our new housing bed business. So all new houses, housing products, one beds, whether we're going to do it modular or traditional, uh, that's, that's my gig at the moment at Urban Splash. Urban Splash have just created a new type of modern method of construction called house and this type of construction is pre prefabricated and they have a development site in New Islington in Manchester with a further development site in Manchester coming on, on stream soon. Essentially we, we entered into the housing market really to question how people were sold houses, not necessarily how houses were built. So the, kind of the, the housing market is obsessed with buying a one, two, three, four, five bed house and we're more obsessed about actually do people want 900 square feet, 1,000 square feet, 1,200 square feet, and what can they do in that square footage? So not so much bedroom-based as space-based, and then understand how people want to use that space. Uh, and kind of working through that part of how we can disrupt the housing market, it's then, well, how do we, how do we deliver that? So we, uh, we started looking at modular and see whether we could actually del deliver it through modular for a similar price that we could deliver it traditionally. They are built in a factory off, off site and off plan. They are brought to site and assembled on site. So conditions are controlled, environmental performance can be controlled, and it's a brand new method of construction. Um, I'm Iona, I'm a graduate researcher working on um, a PhD project with Urban Splash funded by the Low Carbon Eco Innovatory. It's a prefabricated project set in three modules. So you've got the ground floor, second floor, first floor as three different elements delivered on site. It was definitely attracted that it was a stacked up in industry partnership. Um, having been working in architecture for sort of 10 years and specialising in low energy, um, I can see why it's needed. Um, many clients have the same questions that Urban Splash have. And so to get to work on that without having to, to have the, the pressures of a normal normal projects I'm actually just solely focusing on the research which is fantastic and I know that it's feeding into what every client needs and what the industry needs. So one of the byproducts of building it off-site is actually buildings tend to perform better than if you build them on-site and that's kind of I mean partly due with just the way things are you know it's in dry conditions things are machine precisely dimensionally it's more stable there's less tolerance so things are basically a tighter fit. So it generally performs better and also because you've got to build it in a factory and lift it on a wagon, then take the wagon down the M6 and allow that building to withstand all the bumps in the road and then crane it into place. There's loads of structural redundancy. So it's really rigid, really well built, really strong. So one of the things we're looking at is actually, does that deliver better performance? And we, the, the kind of design tools we've got seem to indicate that, we don't really know. So the, hence the study with the university. As a business, we want to head towards carbon zero homes, but there's no current tools there for us to be able to readily measure what we've done. So the idea is collect data, measure it, validate it. And if we're on the right track, then great. If we're not on the right track, we get a roadmap for how to turn that around and put us on the right track to more sustainable and better performing homes. So our PhD project is looking at the whole life performance of this new modern method of construction. It's also looking at the energy use and energy requirements for those homes. And we are considering the whole life impact of those buildings as well. Urban Splash, as a company, do not have the skill set of the university or the time to carry out this extended period of research over three years. So we are providing a unique approach to monitoring the performance of these prefabricated modular construction homes and provide an urban splash with a new method and a new framework to look at further enhancements of their, of their build. Well, it's also, it's also to do with knowledge, you know, bringing knowledge to the marketplace. Uh, we, were, you know, we were very lucky that we were granted five years R&D by our board to get on and deliver house and you know not many companies would do that so well five years down the line you know, we've all discovered that it was more difficult than many people think it is and hence you know do it something with the university it becomes a learning tool and actually if more people enter the market then that's only a good thing for us so actually the knowledge is there for, for people to take and hopefully use as a learning tool as well. 
the intention is that Urban Splash will come out with a system by which they know they can design to make all their developments zero carbon without it costing the client more. So actually, we're all about innovation. We think we've done a good job. We hope we've done a good job. We don't really know. Let's test it, measure it, find out you know, whether it's good news or bad news. It'll be information that'll be useful to us.